I don't believe it. The humiliation. What's next, underneath the arches? Leave me alone. What is going on? I mean, look at it, the idea. You, my friend, associate. The man I brought up from the gutter. Taught, nursed, trained. Look at them. Maggie's millions. There's six of them. Yeah, where's the rest of them? All tucked up in their kip. Don't even get up for breakfast television. But all I'm doing is sussing out the job market, all right? Job market? What, motorcycle messenger? Audio typist? Is that the limit of your aspirations? Listen, this isn't for you. This is for civilians. Workers. Listen, Arthur, I've had enough, right? Standing on the door in some cars in Acton, lippy hooligans. Kung Fu kicks now it is. I'll tell you what, I've got a season ticket to the casualty ward. The thoracic and all. Can't even get me best shoes out of the menders. Oh, why didn't you say? Oh, look, that's a good one. Block of flats, handyman, 60 sobs. What's that? Five day week, 300 sobs a week. That is a week, you burk. 60 sobs a week. You drink that in a day, don't you? Not true. Anyway, everyone's feeling a pinch. School fees are going up. Earning doors daily wants an arm and a leg. You're not the only one. And we're not asking for A-levels. Maybe a diploma of physical education. Well, I used to be a boxer, you know, a few years ago. Hmm. Well, they'd be interested in that. Yeah, now and again I'll teach a youth club. I'll teach them self-defence, that sort of thing. Hmm. Let me take your name and address. Yeah, never mind all that. He's got a job. Ignore him. And if you want to know about his youth activities, ask him about last night. Two mere juveniles. A right hand at the one and a left hook to the other. I'm going to chin you in a minute. You see what I mean, miss? Aggressive. Mind you, he has had a deprived childhood. But he is no play leader. And apart from that, he's got a job. This man is gainfully employed. He thought the job centre was a new pub, didn't you, my son? I am his governor. I pay his stamps. Stamps? You? When have you... Don't interrupt. He is not one of three million. He is a fraud. Do not be misled by the hangdog expression, young man. Oh, really? I'm going to chin you in a minute. I'll bring you tidings of great joy, Terence. A wedge in your sky, a wonger in your wallet. And the info is for your ears only. Well, I suppose I'd better have a word with him. I would as well. Job centres. I'd put this country back on its feet. Can you come back and tell me what happens? Yeah, I can come back about six. How's that? I uh, could even take you out, buy you a drink. Yeah. OK. See? You meet me and suddenly you get a result. What's a nice girl like that doing in a nasty place like this?